Hello puppies, it's Sleepy Juppy with another episode of Juppy Recommends, where I, Juppy, recommend something to you. And today I'm recommending the comedy series This Fool on Hulu that started streaming all 10 episodes about two weeks ago. It's some of the funniest writing on TV in 2022. I was dying watching it with Britney, and I think a lot of people will really enjoy it. And I want, I want to make sure it has a lot of attention too, because it totally deserves it. So this fool is about Julio, a self-proclaimed punk-ass bitch who works as a case manager at the nonprofit Hugs Not Thugs that aims to rehabilitate former gang members. Julio's cousin Luis is recently released after many years in prison, prompting Julio to help Luis. But is it out of the goodness of his heart or his ego? Luis's active resistance and bad behavior definitely doesn't help the situation, but leads to so many awkward, hilarious encounters. The series follows their trials and tribulations to get over themselves and get along. Stand-up comedian and writer Chris Estrada plays Julio and is also co-creator for the series. Frankie Quinones plays Luis. You might know him from the Cholo Fit videos and sketches on YouTube. Always good to see new media folks get parts on TV. I love that. Like I said, the most entertaining part of this fool is how Julio and Luis rib each other relentlessly. Each of them are in a certain arrested development of their manhood. It feels like the petty arguments, the juvenile instances I had with my cousins growing up, it just never ends, but I feel right at home watching it. Uh, which is weird to say because these grown men are totally taking each other down a notch and constantly hyping it up and it's it's blowing up a very not so serious situation but it's very <laughs> familiar to me. Some of the major issues Julio and Luis have to contend with are really interesting as well. Julio has to deal with imagining life outside of his mother's home, dealing with his anxiety and his savior complex, and what does it mean to be a man. Luis has to deal with how the world has changed since his incarceration, how to deal with trauma, how to make amends. There are strong performances from the minor characters as well, including Laura Patalano as Julio's mother Esperanza, and Michelle Ortiz as Julio's chaotic on-again, off-again girlfriend Maggie. The strongest episode by far is episode 2. If you can't get through the whole series, at least get to episode 2, Putasos. It is probably the most fun I've had watching TV and I've seen it three times already um, so I, I can't I can't sing praises enough for that episode episode two putazo so you have to go and watch it the production design and overall feel of the show is on point to my experience living in a Mexican-American Latinx dominated East LA from the grocery stores the parties the music the clothes the cars the line delivery it's fun to see this world come to life in a way that pokes fun and respects its real-life inspirations the main cast has so many fun situations and relationships to explore that sidesteps caricaturizing token and avoids being one note while still being purely entertaining. The overall commentary and rehabilitation for gang members, family obligations, codependency, nonprofit culture, and modern masculinity are specific. The series ends with great setups for most of the characters that makes me invested in a season two. It does it better than other shows this year. <laughs> the Bear. If you enjoy irreverent humor that comments on masculinity, you gotta give this fool a watch, especially because they don't have a Wikipedia yet, and I don't know why, because it's great. So take care, laugh more, keep having fun, watch this fool on Hulu, Juppy out, till next time, bye bye bye, see ya!